Okay, Chronicle Pop Quiz. Is now a good time to invest in A, hand sanitizer, B, face masks, or C, real estate? Well, if you've got plenty of the first two, the answer may be C. We have historically low interest rates and the pandemic itself is kind of pushing people to the market. So now is a good time to purchase. So once again, phase three. 18 year veteran realtor Charles George says, business has been booming despite the pandemic, particularly in areas that offer space to social distance. The Stotons, the Randolph, the Braintree, basically towns that have enough yard space and space to have really large homes are really high. But these signs don't say for free. To shop in Georgia's hot zones, expect to pay upwards of $400,000. A lot of people have a tendency to say, well, listen, I'm pre-approved for $500,000, so I'm gonna go out and spend every single penny of that $500,000. Factoring an additional cost is key. That's what Ashley and Andre are doing. They are new parents and home hunters with a plan. The type of people that we are, we like to make sure that our ducks in a row before we start any process. Having taken a first time buyer's course and with a mortgage pre-approved, George walks them through this beautiful new construction development in Stoughton. This particular home here has hardwood floors throughout the first floor. Featuring plenty of space for their new baby girl. She accumulates a lot of things fast. So um, our apartment turned into Bye Bye Baby overnight. She just needs more space. Deciding to buy is one thing. Closing a deal is much harder. We sort of expected things to kind of slow down. It's been quite the opposite. The open houses that we go to are always crowded. You can fall in love with the house. You can put an offer on that house. And somebody might have loved it a little bit more than you did. It's this roller coaster of emotions. Fortunately, despite the pandemic, those emotions do not include a fear of house shopping. We have an excellent realtor who has made sure we've abided by all of the safety precautions when we go and see these open houses. The real estate market got all the Perel, though. <laughs> that's where all the hand sanitizer went. For sure. Yes. Let me uh, turn off the lights and be. As this walkthrough wraps up, it's time for impressions. This checks a lot of the boxes in terms of space, in terms of neighborhood. I like this place a lot. Yeah, no, it's very nice. In the end, it may come down to numbers. The asking price, $694,900. A lot of money, but also an investment in their daughter's future. I remember my childhood home, and I can remember every nook and cranny, and I just hope that we can just give that to our daughter. I think the most excitement will come whenever we find our place and we have the keys in hand. That's when things really get exciting. If you can find one fixer-upper and develop it into a home, you get satisfaction. Here I would put like, like a dining room. Do it 12 times and you just might get a TV show. My name is Stella Frischman and I flip houses. Though you won't find Frischman on HGTV just yet, that is where she got her inspiration. I got into it because I was going through a divorce. Uh, and I was thinking, how do I make extra money? This is done, this is done. I looked at all those TV shows and it seemed to me like it wasn't so difficult. Frischman took out a loan against a property she owned in Brighton, giving her three million in cash, but one problem. I realized that I actually have to pay the loan. <laughs> and I don't even have a property to flip. It took me about three months. On that first flip, a lot of things went wrong, starting with her contractor. He disappears to Brazil with my money. <laughs> I basically was the contractor on my first home. Yet that trial by fire gave Frischman the confidence she now brings to projects like this Natick modular build. The end results can be thrilling, but don't expect to retire on one flip. A lot of time people don't realize that at the end they'll make less than 50,000. And then the market changes. Then you're losing money. And you still have to pay everyone. You know, you're the last one to get paid. It's not easy, but it's exciting. Back to Ashley and Andre, the young couple searching for their first home. They did not make an offer on that house they toured when we were there, but they are under contract on a different house in the same neighborhood. They're having fun picking out paint colors, fixtures, and all of the fun things that come along with new construction. Next, capturing your home's best angles.